uh, I've totally missed his, ne- uh, missed his name. I think it's Devin Thomas, Harrisburg, PA. Hey, Dutch and James, real quick, I have to tell you that Zeb Coulter had my dad and I saying we the people as an in-joke for years, so thanks for giving us that. Regardless, I have a uh, few questions for you about your time as Zeb. We've talked, uh, in, and I've taken out one of the questions because we've already addressed it with uh, Alberto Del Rio and how you got hooked up with him. But the second question was between Jack Swagger, Cesaro and Del Rio. Who do you think had the most potential in the business and did they squander it? I'd assume Cesaro, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So there you go. <clears throat> now he's saying, what is this guy's name? Uh, Devin Thomas. So he's, he's, Devin, he's saying that all three of them squandered something of their careers at one point. Do you agree? Well, you could actually say that for all of them, really. But I think my answer to this would be Del Rio. Del Rio was his, his own worst enemy. And getting with that girl, what was her name? Well, she's Soraya now, but Paige at the time. Oh, Paige. And she's Soraya now. Well, Sor- Soraya, I'm sorry. And that's how it's Soraya. And anyway, <clears throat> I think that was his downfall right there. Because he was very, very jealous of her. And from what I've heard, she was very, very jealous of him. And they both like to they both like to drink. So put them together, two volatile uh, personalities. And add some liquor in, and you had some problems. I think Del Rio had more of a future than uh, uh, Jack and Claudio uh, Cesaro in WWE because what well, they just did. But I, I think Jack would have went a lot of farther had I not gotten hurt. And when I started going to the ring with him, it took an element of his of his presentation away, and maybe he didn't ever recover from it. But I never recovered from it. But Del Rio, him being Hispanic, I mean, he had who is the who is the the Hispanic in WWE now? The well, there's loads, really. I mean, there's Damian Mysterio, Priest and Mysterio and Dominic Damian Mysterio. Damian Priest. Carlito, uh, all of the LWO, of course. Yeah, but at the time, they didn't have all that. Huh. And Del Rio, if he'd have straightened up and flown right, as my, or flew right, as, as my grandmammy used to say, he could have done a hell of a lot more because he spoke the language and he... His family was in the business in Mexico for years and years and years. And he was a kind of a good talker, plus a, a great worker. He, he was good. But I would think of all the three of them, I think all three of them got hurt. I mean, professionally or in the business. But I think who got hurt the most was Del Rio. I, I think with the other two, Jack and Cesaro, you can say that's a booking thing. Yeah, it was. Uh, but... The- but see, the booking thing, you, you're only going to get a booking thing if you show them something. Uh, Cesaro was a great worker, but he was, they looked at him like he was flat. How do we, how do we make this guy a star? And nothing against him. He was, he was great, but they didn't see it in him. And in Jack, they didn't see it either because Jack has trouble doing an interview. And when we when they put me with him, that went out the window. And then you got to consider the time. It was like 2013, 2014. The uh, the Republicans were coming back. I forgot the name of the group they were trying to get. The Tea Party, I think, at the time. The Tea it? Party, and we were we were fitting into that. And but. I used to go out like the rock went out on raw in Philadelphia and attack the people. He went out there and he said, this is the largest number of trailer park trash (laughs) ever assembled in one building. (laughs) And uh, when you attack them, they're ready to go for you. And that's what I do. I'd go out and attack the people and got a lot of response, but back to the question. Yeah. I think it was, uh, my friend Del Rio, 